You. And you. I'm talking to you. And you. How about a Coke Zero Cheers? Boom! Mmm. Sweet taste of aspartame. Aspartame. Spartameme. What's up, guys? It's July 5th. In this weird YouTube universe that we're trapped in. This strange website full of strange shows, including this one. Sponsored by It Will Be Okay t-shirts. These are the brand, brand new ones that I just made. New font. I love this shirt. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Washed it, put it on, and it's a medium, and I'm loving it. Boom. New font. Boom. Available soon. So, it's the 5th of July, and I wasn't going to get on here and do this, but I need to tell... I need to, to do the 4th of July video before it uh, is too far gone. So yesterday was the 4th of July. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a good break from work, all that stuff. I went out of my comfort zone this year, and usually last several 4th of Julys I've spent alone, desperately alone. Just because when you don't drink, f holidays like 4th of July really don't mean that much. I mean, you can talk about American independence or whatever, but that's not what I usually got into. Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Easter, Columbus Day, Martin Luther King Day, everything was a day for me to drink. And so when I stopped drinking, holidays kind of went away. But this year I went ahead and decided I'm going to go for it. So I texted my buddy Jake. I said, he texted me actually. He said, Here, we're thinking of hitting this pool. We're going to go to a party, me and my girlfriend. You know, if you want to come, let me know. And I said, screw that. Let's do it at my place. I'll get the meat and the food and some drinks and stuff. And you can bring some people. I'll invite some friends and we'll have a little get together at my place. And so we did. We met up around three o'clock and I was happy I did it because I need to, uh, I have this new thing I'm doing. I'll do another video about it. But when I feel the resistance uh, against doing something I know I want to do, socialize more, I talk about it all the time. I know I want to do it. But when the opportunity comes, I freeze. So when I feel that freeze, I just launch into it. So right when I felt myself panic about it, that's when I hurried up and texted him and said, let's just do it because then I was uh, obligated to do it. So it happened. So I'll do another video, but just keep that in mind. So he shows up about three o'clock. We get the party started down there. We get some food down there, get the grill going. There's some other residents from the building um, and they're drinking. We're not drinking. We were trying to have an edibles only non-alcohol 4th of July because mainly I didn't want to deal with people when they got sloppy drunk, which always happens. And the power cable came out of my computer. Okay, so... We got there, and uh, one of my friends showed up. His girlfriend showed up. There were a bunch of people from the building, a couple people from the building down there. And we spent from about 3.30 to about uh, 8.30 outside by the pool cooking chicken, steak. Random parts of animals. <laughs> beaks, feathers. Beaks. Wait, hold on my wife. <laughs> And I cooked up these things I saw online called banana s'mores. You literally open a banana with a, with a knife, put marshmallows and chocolate in it, roast them in the barbecue grill for 10 minutes, and it melts, and you eat it out of the peel with a spoon. Try it. It will change your life. Banana pancake. <laughs> what the hell is that? We had those. Everyone was making fun of me because they thought it was kind of a weird thing. And then I made them, and everyone tasted them, and we all agreed it's one of the best desserts that we had ever tasted in our lives. It's very simple, takes no time or effort. And it's, you know, marshmallows and chocolate aren't that healthy, but it's a banana. You could do dark chocolate chips and a few marshmallows on top. Fantastic. So we stayed out there all day. Edibles, music, but we were doing fine, man. On the edibles, we were all on the same wavelength and we were just giggling and laughing and dancing. Banana pancake. <laughs> what the hell is that? Banana s'more, baby. <laughs> One of a kind. <laughs> and uh, feeling foolish and cooking and eating and then eating again. A couple other people showed up, and as the sun started to set, you could hear the fireworks start to go off. And one of the reasons I wanted to invite these guys over to watch the fireworks here is because I live in a bird cage, like in a bird nest. It's up here in the sky, like an eagle's nest. You can see everything. You can see the entire city. I can see all the way to Santa Monica and Venice Beach that way. And I can see all the way to downtown this way. And every year on the 4th of July for the last four years, I've stayed here alone, I believe, because I didn't want to deal with the world. 
because of the non-drinking issue, which has now been solved by the edibles. Another thing that edibles have helped with. I can do holidays again without losing my mind. But I normally watch these fireworks shows by myself, and there are, I'm not exaggerating, 75 to 300 firework shows going on around LA. People think of LA as a city, but it's actually a bunch of cities. Like there are so many different zip codes and names and cities and uh, counties. It's unbelievable. You can drive for an hour in each direction and still be in LA. So you, every little city and uh, county has their own firework show. So every year, it's like, a, it's like this, the, the scene from Fight Club where the bombs are going off all over the place. That's what it looks like. Actually, my friend Jake kept saying last night, like, put on, put on the Fight Club music, man. This is the Fight Club scene. I was like, you're right. And we were super high on the edibles. It was just crazy. But I wanted them to see it because it's unbelievable. Now, normally when you watch a fireworks show on the 4th of July, you would, the way I remember doing it, as a kid and as a young adult was looking, laying in the grass, looking up and, and you would be at a fireworks show that kind of sparkled down over you. And it was magical and big and the big booms and all that. But for, when, for my apartment, you don't get that experience. It's a different experience. You just see hundreds of fireworks going off at once in the sky. Some were popping off maybe 50 yards from my windows. And then some were probably you know, 50 miles from the house, just all over the place. We tried to count them. It was impossible. It sounded like a war zone. Like if you closed your eyes, you could kind of imagine that this might be a, a tenth of what it might sound like in a war area, you know, someplace that's being bombed. It's kind of terrifying, really. Um, but anyway, don't, don't let me go down that rabbit hole. But we stood and watched these fireworks, a hundred fireworks shows probably, a minimum. 75, somewhere, 75, 150, I don't know. Just an ocean of fireworks, and we watched them go, and we watched them go. And, you know, most fireworks shows I remember lasted like 20 minutes as a kid. These went on for two hours. They went on for an hour with everyone here, and we were here just kind of talking. We were alternating who was at the window, like someone would have their head out the window. We were videotaping and taking pictures. And... uh we just kept going, it's still going. Like we would lose interest and start talking and listening to music and then turn around and go, it's still going. Just firebombs going off in the sky everywhere. And when I laid down to go to sleep, I ran them out about 10.30. And then I just quickly wrapped up and was in bed by, bed by 11. And the fireworks, I'd say, started about 8.30ish. And at 11, they were still going off. <laughs> not, the, not as many. But there were still like 30 fireworks shows going off. And you could hear the bombs and the, all that stuff going. And it was incredible. So I'm glad. it was really fun to have a crowd here and do it. And it just, you know, it's another one of those things. Like I have to keep telling myself, life is better with people in it most of the time. As long as you surround yourself with the right people. Because if you surround yourself with the wrong people, like I've done many times in my life, there's a phrase that I have for it. And, and this is my my default thought about socialization and society and other people. <laughs> and my phrase is, and it's not a healthy one, but it's a funny one. It says, the only thing worse than being alone is being with someone else. <laughs> the only thing worse than being alone is being with someone else. And when you live by that credo, it's a trap because, you know, but it's true. Like sometimes, even when I'm in a crowd of people, a big crowd, you know, 10,000 people, I feel completely alone. And if I'm going to feel completely alone, I'd rather just be alone, <laughs> you know? So, but, but what, I'm, what I'm discovering now is like with the edibles thrown in, my chemicals mix a little bit to make me a little more talkative. And I do a better job of surrounding myself with positive folks. And it works out better. Because last night, I mean, I went to bed going, this was right. Like this was fun. I'm glad I, 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 le I leapt through the resistance and like sent the text. Because once you send the text, you're obligated. That's a little trick I'm using. But anyway, it was a great time. Happy 5th of July. I hope you had a good 4th of July. I want to know what you did, where you were, what you saw, and if anything crazy happened. Because uh, 4th of July is well known for being a heavy drinking holiday. I may or may not have done that in the past. But I bet you have a wild story or even a boring story. Just let me know what you did. 
And I'm going to close out the video. I'm going to let you see some of the footage because I don't think people will really, I don't think you'll believe me at how many different fireworks shows. And it's a shame that I didn't have a camera crew because I could only set up one, my iPhone on the window ledge and film one area. But you have to remember this was going on like 15 times more. Those scenes were repeated 15, 20 times more all around the place. So that's all. Have a great night. 6.48 p.m. I usually don't do these so late, but I wanted to get one in, get back in the habit. And now I'll play that footage, and I won't see you at the end of the video. So now I'll go ahead and tell you I love you, you're my friend, and I will see you in the future. Beautiful sight. It's like a black hole. Oh my, look at this. That does look like a black hole in the universe right there. And that smoke. I never seen Where? that. That's a definite Smoking alien. Black hole. That whole smoky world that's boom right there. Looks like a like a small scale universe. No shit. That's what we're in. <laughs> and no one even thinks about it. <laughs>